So before I explain to you why I picked that, I need for my message 10 words that I'm going to weave into my very short five minute homily. I'm going to need somebody to bring the microphone around while we get those words and I will write them down and we'll see how it goes. Um, Aisha has one there, Soren. Are you walking around? Oh no, you're going Sorry. back there. Chaos. Chaos. <clears throat> Esoteric. Buckaroo. Oranges. Ready? You do it. Compassion. Compassion. Giraffe. Platypus. How many are we at now? Um, we need three more. Um, platypus. Platypus twice? Platypus. Okay. Platypus twice. Are there any online? Can you check? Nearsighted. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. No, we're done. We're done, Jim. I'm so sorry. All right, I'm about to put my timer on and I'm going to do this in five minutes. So this story, The Heat Death of the Universe, is a story about chaos. It's a story about the idea that entropy, the thermodynamic quality representing the unavailability of a system's thermal energy for conversion into mechanical work, often interpreted as the degree and disorder of randomness in the system, keeps going up. And it's comparing this idea of this 1960s housewife and how she's kind of just creating chaos by the end in her home. Everything is feeling out of control. And so she starts just throwing the eggs and having that cathartic reaction. This is reminding me of a TikTok trend that I've seen. Not that I'm really into TikTok, but in the trend, it shows people showing how messy their house is, right? It's mostly women and they're looking like, don't feel like you're a bad parent if your house is messy. As the person in my house who's most responsible for cleaning, I find this very, very cathartic. I might not be the only person with oranges all over my house. And that, that's really important to me. So I think that one of the things that we try to do here as a church is have compassion for the fact that some of us are in these situations that are chaotic. I think today is kind of a chaotic situation, right? And more than that, I think I wanna make an argument for the goodness of chaos, for the power that chaos brings to our life. And for the fact that as a church, when we get new members, we increase the chaos of this system. So let's think about it this way. In our world, if it wasn't for chaos, we wouldn't exist. There wouldn't be an earth that was created through the randomness of the system. There wouldn't be platypuses. Yes, I said platypuses. There wouldn't have been dinosaurs. There wouldn't have been giraffes. You made that one really easy. This amount of chaos created us. And as a church with more and more people come in, that chaos becomes more and more possible, more and more visible, right? It's no longer some kind of esoteric idea. It's something that we experience as we come in, as our differences rub against each other. The smaller that we are, the easier it is for us to have one idea of how we are going to be. But when we bump against each other and create more and more chaos in the church, it can be generative. It can create new ideas, new thoughts. You can change. You can be transformed by interacting with people you don't know. But it can also cause disagreements. It can also cause difficulties, right? So it's important for us not to be too nearsighted about this. 
If we think as we bring in new members that our church is going to just stay the same with those new people, it won't. And it's important for us to remember the positive elements of bringing that chaos in. Now, I've heard of a specific kind of theory about chaos. It's called um, chaos and order Muppets. Are people familiar with chaos and order Muppets? Yes, some people. So this is idea, this idea, if, I, if I've got it right, is there are basically some people who are chaos Muppets and they kind of, they kind of go towards chaos. That's their kind of center. And some people who are order Muppets, they go towards order. That's their center. Do you all think that you could figure out which one of those you are? I get it's a false dichotomy, but okay. If you feel like you're a chaos Muppet, raise your hand. Okay, good. I like it. Now, if you feel like you're an order Muppet, raise your hand. I love this. So I definitely identify with the chaos Muppets. And so I want to say a real thank you for the others of you who raised your hand at chaos Muppets. And I want to encourage the order Muppets. We need you too, right? Because we are working together to create a church that has systems and stuff, but we have stuff to learn from each other. And those order Muppets, I need to encourage you to embrace the chaos. Now, finally, in my last 25 seconds, I want to say that we are about to go into something after this service, Pie Sunday, which is kind of chaotic. We have all different kinds of pie. We didn't plan for which pies we're going to show up. And we don't know, you're not going to know everybody you're standing in line in, in line with. But I encourage you to create that chaos of eating your pie and seeing what might come from being in that space. My alarm just went off. So may it be so, and let us say together, amen. Buckaroo. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I missed that.